Everything in the universe is energy. The most successful nations in history were able to channel energy in the most efficient way. We eat to produce ATP, to use it as energy to move, think, talk, and act in our everyday lives. Stars shine because of burning energy. Bees make honey and extract pollen from plants through channeling energy. We as humans erect infrastructure in our civilization through the channeling of energy. We make weapons, tools, and equipment by channeling energy into natural resources. We write or make blueprints to build infrastructure. The act of thinking also consumes lots of energy. Energy is in everything in the universe. A means of exchange is just that, a pathway or a means by which we flow. Give, grant, or receive energy to and from each other. Our very, our very neurons in our brains have synapses that transfer energy to each other, making every action and thought possible in our lives. The composition of the known universe is pure energy. The information flows from our brains through the nerves into the rest of the human body by channeling energy. See the pattern. Steel plants make steel through the channeling of energy. Airplanes fly through channeling of energy. As stated before, the most successful empires or nations in history were masters of channeling energy. Thus, conquered other people's nations and tribes. The people of all nations in the world found ways to transfer energy to each other by channeling energy via exchanging precious, scarce and valuable things with each other. Be it beads, shiny rocks, seashells, metals in the Bronze Age, uh, buttons, weapons, or tools, food. There were countless ways and items that people exchanged goods and services with, thus channeling energy. In time, emperors, kings, leaders of nations and empires discovered that they could issue a ledger or a means of storing information of who owns what to who and when the transactions were made. Humans discovered then that they could lend and borrow to and from each other, but also kings and emperors started to issue a token of said ledger. Tokens have been a thing from the inception of humanity, making possible to exchange energy or channeling energy. For example, say your grandmother left you five acres in Enfield, England. You could sell half of the acreage in exchange for gold or silver. That amount of acreage would then be transformed into gold, making it easier to carry that energy with you. You then could channel that gold or energy into anything else you needed or, or liked, such as a hammer, an axe, or both, and even more food, potable water, or with that amount of gold, you could pay a crew of guys, a company, to build a house and dig a well in the land you have left. You could... But buy a horse to travel, pack gifts and take it to a family member who lives in a faraway nation. Through channeling energy, infrastructure was built. Ships that sailed across the oceans were built, making the exchange of goods and services international. Well, now you could buy gunpowder from the Chinese nations and they could receive your gold or other tools or weapons or spices. Look at a motherboard in a computer, it looks exactly like a city. It channels energy through itself to function. Then the information you shaped goes into other computers all over the world through the internet. And that information travels through the ether. We don't know exactly how, but we know it works. With time, emperors who issued said tokens would shave off the coinage or dilute it and mix it with less valuable metals and ore such as bronze, making the coins or tokens less valuable. People would notice and not accept it as much using other forms of barter or tokenage or coinage. The beauty of Bitcoin is that it cannot be diluted. It cannot be inflated. It cannot be manipulated. Bitcoin cannot be corrupted. It is fully it is fully decentralized. It flows at the speed of light through lightning. It does not care who you are or whether you're in the moon or on earth. It doesn't care about anything except that you hold the private keys associated with Bitcoin. Emperors, kings, and leaders are beginning to lose the ability to control, inflate, corrupt, and manipulate the money supply. Well, 
they can still print or manufacture their own token or coinage or whatever fiat made up money they have, but nobody will choose to use it because it is not fair. People won't want to play their game and that they're playing. No, instead, people will choose to play a different game. Bitcoin will be chosen because of its incorruptibility, its decentralization, its uninflatability, its durability, its portability, divisibility, uniformity, limited supply, and acceptability. Bitcoin is the best way in the universe to channel energy. The discovery of fire, hunting traps, the wheel, agricultural revolution, metal weapons and tools we made, the septic systems we built, the sewer system we discovered, electricity. When then we went through the industrial revolution, harvesting, transporting, making higher amounts of food faster to make society grow bigger and stronger and faster. We invented trains, railroads, cars and airplanes, making individual families travel much, much faster. Then computers were invented, air conditioning, internet, robots, and now smartphones. Then, I would argue, the most precious of it all, Bitcoin. With Bitcoin, we can be truly free. The human heart yearns to breathe free. Bitcoin obliterates the shackles that the kings and emperors had on its people, us. Now emperors can't fully control the channeling of energy anymore because as cars and airplanes were made for individual families to travel faster to whoever they wanted or needed, to wherever they wanted or needed, just as that individual families or people can channel their own energy to wherever they want, to whomever they please, from wherever, whenever, in the speed of light, forever. Or they can just store that energy and save it for themselves, thus truly saving money. When you understand Bitcoin, the eyes of your heart begins to open and you can see how we were debt slaves and a lot of people still are to the emperors and kings. You don't see it in modern day. Of course we do. Mortgages, car loans, credit card debt, taxes, property tax, sewer tax, income tax, capital gain tax, death tax, exit tax, 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 and more tax. And the tax on top of your tax, you get the picture, opt out. Opt out of the unfair system that is eating away at your life force. Every time you work, every second you choose your ATP to work and channel your energy into either building a house, fixing a car, building the plumbing or electrical wiring in a house or a building or whatever it is that you do to receive a wage or a salary, now you can store it in a fully, truly fair and decentralized fashion, in a way that is truly yours, that belongs to you and only you. We don't understand how early we are to Bitcoin truly. Laser focus on the one thing that is and will continue to set humans free from tyranny. Break free from the shackles of the dictators, emperors, kings, leaders, or presidents. Break free and store your energy in your own brain. The energy you produced belongs to you. Store it in your own person. Memorize your keys or seed phrase. And remember, not your keys, not your coin.